Okay, today we're going to start off with naming angles. And it probably seems really simple, but there is an actual way you must name your angles. So there are three ways you can name your angle. You can start with point A and go counterclockwise to point C. And to indicate it's an angle, we do a little angle symbol out front and we say angle A, B, C. We can go the other way and say it's angle C, B, A, or we could just name it angle B. Now this, this point right here is the vertex of your angle. And the vertex is how we really define which angle. That's why it has to be in the middle. Or if you just name it angle B, you can you just have that vertex angle because that makes sure that it's this angle that you're talking about. Okay, now that we know how to name angles, we're going to talk about the types of angles you can have. So an angle whose measure is greater than a hundred, greater than zero degrees but less than 90 degrees is an acute angle and you can remember it because it's a cute little angle because it's you know it's small okay an angle whose measurement is equal to 90 degrees is called a right angle and it's right angles that make up um, squares and rectangles. That's why when we measure it, we do this little um, square right here to indicate that it's a right angle. So an angle who's greater than 90, 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle. And an angle whose measure is equal to 100 degrees is called a straight angle. Or, as you can see, it's also called a line. Because a line's measure is equal to 180 degrees. And we more commonly refer to it as a line than an angle. So let's do some examples with classifying angles. So this first angle we have right here is measured as 73 degrees. And since 73 is less than 90 degrees, but greater, Since 73 degrees is less than 90 degrees, but greater than 100 degrees, this is an acute angle. This one right here is 120 degrees, which is less than 180 degrees, but greater than 90 degrees, so this is an obtuse angle. And like the first one, this is greater than zero degrees but less than 90 degrees so this is also an acute angle. Okay, so now that we know how to classify and name angles, um, be sure to come back and watch the next video where we're going to talk about the congruence um, and addition properties of angles.